tonight's top story, Jake Hope investigation ripple effect. Following that scathing Jake Hope report on how Assemblymember Vito Lopez sexually harassed staffers, Lopez did hand in his re resignation today. It's effective immediately. But now the focus is shifting from Lopez to the most powerful Democrat in the legislature. Was Speaker Sheldon Silver Lopez's enabler? Matt Markham joins us live from our Capitol Bureau with more on our top story. Matt. Well, good evening, Greg. Some people are saying that, and at least Silver admitted to some mistakes in the handling of sexual harassment claims against the Brooklyn Democrat, Vito Lopez. And now that Lopez is gone, some are calling for Silver to follow suit. So Silver did speak with the media at a press conference this afternoon, just about 5 o'clock. After that report and after all of this came to light, Mr. Silver admitted a mistake in handling the Lopez situation and the sexual harassment claims with a reported settlement of $103,000 for two women that were wrapped up in this and accused Mr. Lopez of wrongdoing. Uh, this, of course, was not public knowledge until later. And because of all of this, even a Democrat, Western New York Assemblyman Michael Kearns, is calling for Silver to step down within his own party. Mr. Kearns uh, suggests maybe creating an, uh, his own independent caucus in the meantime. Uh, but with Lopez gone now, Mr. Silver is proposing a few things of his own for uh, creating an independent investigator of uh, sexual harassment claims, mandatory reporting of those claims, and also banning confidential settlements. He had a couple of things to say about his own future today. Those issues that I have stood up for still need answers. I serve at the pleasure of my constituents first. And I'm proud to serve as my colleague speaker as long as they want me to. Now, these changes that I mentioned to you a little bit earlier, creating an independent investigator, mandatory reporting of sexual harassment claims of anybody working with the state, and also legislation for banning confidential settlements. Uh, the first two go into effect immediately. Banning confidential settlements, though, that is legislation that the speaker says he's going to bring up uh, in the very short-term future, Greg. All right, Matt, I know you spoke with some local elected leaders today. I don't know if they were Democrats or Republicans. Any of them calling for Silver's departure as Speaker? Well, at least a Republican from the area is. Assemblyman McLaughlin says that it's time for Mr. Silver to go. Uh, Democrat Pat Fahey says that she has some faith in the Speaker and she'd like to see uh, you know, things progress and, and get over all of this at this point. And also Assemblyman McDonald also saying the same thing. He says, you know, let's put the past where it is and move ahead. And at least uh, according to the speaker, he has full intention of doing that and uh, doing it as the speaker. Greg? All right. It would be news if a local Democrat wanted him to go. So we'll stay on top of that. Thank you very much, Matt Markham, yep. live mm -hmm. in Albany.